What's up, guys? Uh, welcome to today's class. I'm Mr. Geisler. I'm Mr. Coleman. I'm Mr. Scott. And I'm Mr. Gadwell. All right, guys, what you will need today, um, we're going to need uh, athletic slash sports clothes and shoes. Um, you're going to need some open space in your house or if it is nice outside and you have the space in your yard, feel free to go outside. Um, uh, possible things we might need, tennis balls, shortcocks, paper balls, golf ball, balloon, et cetera, or any ball that's smaller in size that bounce. Uh, cones are household items. And then if you have a golf club or maybe like a cane or something, that would be essential for today. So it's an activity, guys. We're going to be doing car wrestler endurance activity. Uh, we're going to be doing movement, Simon Says. So therefore, I will say Simon Says, and you guys will complete an exercise for about 20 to 30 seconds. So for an example, I will say Simon Says um, jumping jacks. You do jump jacks for about 20 to 30 seconds until I say, Another one, um, we'll be moving through a series of dynamic movements to get our heart rates up and blood flowing. Um, to make this easier, if you guys need, uh, you can shorten the time for each movement and reduce the amount of movement you do when completing the exercise. And if you want to make it more challenging, uh, speed it up or, or lengthen the time for yourself. Um, so I'm gonna slide to the next slide here. Uh, just some examples to start off with. Um, I got a jumping jack on the left gift, and I got a squat on the right gift. So just make sure you guys have active ears, active eyes, and focus on me. Um, and let's get started. All right, guys, here we go. Simon says jumping jacks. A lot of energy, a lot of focus, guys. Let's get after it today. You guys are doing a great job so far. All right, guys. Simon says high knees. Make sure we're getting those knees up. If you guys do start to get tired, do not waste yourself out. This is just a warm up activity. Make sure you guys are pacing yourselves. All right, guys, Simon says push-ups. Let me get some push-ups. Then pectorals and then triceps. You guys are doing a great job. Great work, guys. All right, guys, Simon says squats. Give me some squats, just like the uh, example gift on the screen. Please remember to pace yourself, guys. You guys are doing an awesome job. Good work, good work. All right, guys, Simon says Lunges. So you got a little bit of space where you got to do some lunges. Just go back and forth, alternating each leg. Keep it up, guys. A lot of energy, a lot of focus. Great work, guys. All right, guys, Simon says high knees. Let me see high knees again. I love the intensity, guys. Great work. Make sure we are pacing ourselves up. If you start to feel tired, short, short in our movement and our intensity of your exercise. If you want to challenge yourself, feel like you're going strong, Crank it up. All right, guys. Simon says jumping jacks. Good work, guys.
All right, guys. Simon says squats. See squats again here for you guys. You guys are doing an awesome job. Keep it up. Great work, guys. All right, guys. Last one. We're going to do a fun one. Uh, let's do our favorite dance uh, and do a little Fortnite backpack kit dance. Do the stanky leg, whatever you guys want to do. I'm a fist pump guy myself. Good work, guys. All right, guys, three, two, one. Awesome work, guys. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this activity. Um, Simon says now we're going to move on to the next slide with Mr. Godler. What's going on, guys? Hope you enjoyed the activity. Um, so today we were learning, uh, you guys can go over the basic cues and forms of putting or putt-putt. Uh, you guys will learn how to how to use different amount of force and different putting uh, distances and scenarios um, and your grade level outcome is right below. If you want to read it, feel free to go on the next slide. All right, students. So now we're going to uh, move into our health related fitness activity. So this week we've got uh, flexibility. So we're gonna take uh, the next five minutes and work through eight different stretches. And uh, these stretches are all important because they help increase our flexibility. So flexibility is important because it reduces the risk of uh, injury and it allows for greater range of motion when doing physical activity, as well as blood flow and circulation to the uh, muscles, joints, and ligaments throughout the body. So right now we've got uh, neck rolls, forward arm circles, backward arm circles, trunk twists, standing toe touches, lunges with trunk twists, um, toe touches, and then leg over twist. So we're gonna take about 30 seconds uh, per exercise and work on these. So if you could start the timer. So we're going to start out up in the top left with this uh, first gift with neck rolls. So we really want to just uh, make circles with our neck, pretend that you've got a pencil, uh, on the top of your head and you're trying to draw a circle on the ceiling. So we want to loosen up the neck. Really focus on your breathing when doing each of these uh, stretches. All right, now we're gonna work uh, for our forward arm circles. So we want our arms out to our side and we want to start with smaller circles and uh, slowly get bigger to big circles, opening up our shoulders. Take about 10 more seconds with that one. All right, now we're going to work uh, backward arm circles. So same thing that we were just doing, but now switch the direction. So instead of going forward, we will just want to go backwards. Excellent, take about five more seconds with that one. Now for this next exercise, we want to put our feet shoulder width apart and we want to twist left and right. Try to get further each time you go. As you see in that GIF on the top right, you see I'm turning side to side. Try to keep your legs straight. Try to just turn your upper body. I'm not doing a very good job of that in that GIF. Or GIF, whatever it is. Couple more seconds. Now we're going to work into standing toe touches. So, as you see in the bottom left, we want to start with our arms out over our head and we want to bend down and touch our toes. You will feel a stretch throughout your lower back and the backs of your legs. Those are your hamstrings that run from your 
rear end down to about uh, behind your knee. So you should feel that stretch out. Very important muscle back there. All right, now we're going to just go back to uh, neck rolls. So as you see, just like what we started out with, just hit that again. Take about 13 more seconds on that. All right, now we are going to move into sitting toe touches. So we want to sit down on our rear end with our feet straight out in front of us. We wanna to try to grab our toes. If you can't quite grab your toes, try to grab your knee or your shin, even your ankle. Um, and if you can grab your toes, try to put your the bottom of your palm over your toes. Try to get as far as you can. Again, we're stretching that uh, those muscles that run along your back and uh, your hamstrings again. Like I said, very important muscles. All right, for this last one, we wanna do leg over twist. So as you see, you're gonna put what, uh, a leg up and you're gonna twist over that side. So if you lift up your um, right leg, you want to face the right. If you put your leg, uh, left leg over, you wanna face the left. You might hear uh, some uh, cracks in your back if you do that. All right, now finish up. So now, Take uh, the next minute and you can go get a drink or grab whatever you need to um, grab for this next part of our lesson. Hey, what's going on guys? Um, so for our first activity, uh, we're gonna go over the basics of putting. Um, so you guys are gonna be practicing the form and technique by taking dry swings. Uh, what I mean by a dry swing is is just practicing your putting swing without hitting a ball or a golf ball. So you're gonna do that, uh, you know, I wanna say like five to 10 times until you get a nice even swing. Um, then you're gonna advance to putting uh, like a three to five foot distance and you have like a cup or like a target or something taped out, or like a ring maybe um, where you can putt to. Something big enough so it's nothing too crazy. You don't wanna have too small of a target since you guys are just learning. Um, and then once you guys are getting the hang of it, you guys can go ahead and um, start uh, moving backwards in distance. Um, to make this easier, you guys make a shorter distance so you guys go below uh, three feet if you need to. Um, so you can be two feet, either, I mean, that's kind of pushing it, but we're gonna stay around the two, three feet range for being shorter distance. Uh, to make it more challenging, again, you guys can uh, see how many times uh, again, you move further back and how many times you can make the putt. Um, and then the cues we have right here is one, when the putter face is square to the target, uh, feet short width apart, eyes over the ball, shoulders are going to be square, parallel to the target, hands and arms hang comfortably uh, under your shoulders, and the ball is placed at the center of stance. By the center of stance, you mean between, the center between both your feet, and you have the contact using the even pendulum swing, so you bring it up and then back forward. Next slide. So Declan was nice enough to grace us with his Tiger Woods impersonation here. As you can see, he had a nice even pendulum swing when he was bringing it forward and back using a nice controlled motion. Um, you guys can go ahead and start using your dry swings for a little bit. Start the timer. Again, you want to make sure your putter face is in line and square to the ball. You want to come at an angle because if you hit at an angle, your ball is going to go not where you want it to go. You want your uh, elbows locked straight out. You don't want to bend your arms when you swing. It's done like hitting a driver. You want putting, you want everything stiff and straight. Again, make sure you're Everything is square, nice wide, even base, shorter width apart. Good work. 14 more seconds with this dry swings. And you guys will start um, point with the distance. You guys can now go grab a ball 
and just try to mark out three to five feet as being doesn't be perfect. And start putting to a, a target, preferably a bigger target, like a ring or a hula hoop or something in a bigger area where you guys can start getting a feel for things. Good work. And we keep that ball in the middle between your stance. Good work again. Make sure that putter is straight. You don't want to add a curve because the ball is not going to go going to go where you want it to. Good. Keep it up. And you're having a little trouble with this, uh, you guys can move down to uh, a shorter distance from two to three feet. Again, you don't really go too much shorter than that. Like learn how to putt with a distance. Good work, keep it up. Got 40 more seconds. Good job. All right, now you guys can start moving back if you're feeling comfortable enough. You guys go from like five to eight feet if you want. Make sure, and then you also can see how many times you can sink a putt without missing, so how many times in a row you can make it. Again, for the people who were having a little trouble with it, try backing up to like three feet, three to four feet now. So a little more distance and get the more hang of things. Good work. job. <clears throat> you're gonna keep your eye on the ball at all times. You don't want to take your eyes off the ball. As soon as you do that, you can shank it. Make sure you have a nice even pendulum swing. Give me 30 more seconds, guys. You're almost done. Keep it up. Good job. You want to channel your impact to go more? Just want to tap it in. All right, guys, good job. You guys can do the next 30 seconds, get a drink of water, and be ready for the next task. Thank you. All right, students, hope you enjoyed that uh, first activity with Mr. Geisler. So now we're going to be working on uh, putting from a distance to a target. Um, so after we learn the basics and fun uh, fundamentals, we're now gonna be um, increasing the distance and going over different pathways um, and focusing on trying to uh, get the ball to a target. So if this uh, is too difficult for you guys, we can uh, decrease or shorten the distance and if it's pretty easy you can increase the distance from you and your target and try to uh, hit it. So we're going to be uh, just like we were doing earlier uh, Declan or Mr. Scott has graced us with his uh, gift here showing perfect form and putting to his target. Um, so we're going to take the next five minutes remember our cues we want to uh, Putter face is squared to the target, feet shoulder width apart, with eyes over the ball, shoulders are square and parallel to the target, um, hands and arms hang comfortably under the shoulders, ball placed at the center of the stance, and contact the ball using an even pendulum swing. So we're going to start the timer. Have your target set up, and uh, you can start off maybe about five feet away from your target and just take uh, 
uh, focus on the fundamentals that we just went over with Mr. Geisler and focus on that pendulum swing to the ball in order to strike it at a low level and hit your target. cues remember each time you retrieve your ball to uh, set up the same way that you did for the previous putt and don't let your form get sloppy I'm sure you all are doing a great job so with this next minute um, if you were able to hit your target um, a majority of the time, you can increase the distance, step back even further, maybe uh, 10 feet or even further if you have that space, or make it a little bit more uh, difficult, try to put it at a different angle. Um, and if you were struggling with hitting your target, you can just, it's okay, step forward and focus on those cues. And um, if you feel like you're starting to become more comfortable with this activity, then you can uh, increase the distance by walking back. Remember uh, these six important cues. Make sure, like I said earlier, we want to set up the same way every single time. This will ensure the uh, highest probability of hitting our target. So if you increase the distance and uh, you felt like you were doing pretty good, but you're just not quite getting it. You can always uh, grab a target that might be a little bigger, a little easier to hit, or you, like we said earlier, you can uh, step forward. Guys, remember, focus on that pendulum swing. We want to keep our arms uh, straight as we're going. And like Mr. Geisler said earlier, we just want to tap it in. We don't want to uh, swing at it like a baseball or like we're driving. We just want to keep a low force, light force. Right, take about 20 more seconds to try to see how many times in a row you can hit your target. And then after these 10 seconds, we're going to uh, take a break. All right, so with this next minute that we have remaining, you can uh, go grab a drink of water, do whatever you need to do and get ready for this next lesson. All right, guys, what's going on? Mr. Scott here. Is our final activity. So we've been building up our putting skills and now we're gonna be using our putting skills in a little putt-putt course. So I'm sure some of you have probably been to a putt-putt course. If not, that's all right. We're gonna be building our own. So you guys are gonna be building a three hole putt-putt course. You can build it around your house. Um, so like outside, inside, um, if you got like a big driveway, that would be a great place to practice. Um, Cause you'll have some slopes on it, make it a little harder. Uh, you're gonna to try to score as low as you can in, in the five minutes. So um, I'm going to give you guys, or I'll go over the cues real fast. So remember, we're going to have our putter face square to the target. Our feet are shoulder width apart with eyes over the ball. Our shoulders are square and parallel to target line. Hands and arms are going to hang comfortably under our shoulders. And the ball is placed at the center of the stance. So as you can see in this gift on the left here, I just made one little easy hole. 
Um, but I'm going to give you guys some time here to build a course and you guys can make it as hard or as easy as you want. You can go anywhere around your house, try to be as creative as you can. You can use a bunch of different objects. If you got couches, you go through different rooms. Um, just be creative and do whatever you, uh, whatever you think would be fun for you. So I'm going to give you guys, you guys can pause the video and um, go do that. And so you should have your course built now. And so now we're going to go through it. So I'm going to give you guys five minutes and you see how low you can score in it. So every stroke is going to be plus one. And then you just want to try to hit your target in as few strokes as possible. Looking good so far, guys. Keep it up. You guys are doing great. Remember the cues if you're struggling. Take a look back at the cues. Your putter face is square. You want to have a nice pendulum swing straight back and straight forward. you've got a parent or a friend over you could have you could compete against them just for fun see so you can score lower awesome job guys i don't know you might be on hole two or three whatever hole you're on keep up the good work Keep up, keep track of your score at the end, and then try to beat your score in the next run. At any time during the video, you can feel free to pause and switch up your course design if you're uh, if it's too easy or too hard. Good guys, you got about three minutes left. Remember those cues we went over? Our face is square, feet are shoulder width apart, shoulders are square, hands and arms should be comfortable underneath you. And the ball is in the center of your stance. You guys got about two minutes and 30 seconds left. Remember to keep your score, track down your score and try to beat on the next run. At the end of class in our flip grid, you guys can tell us your score from your um, your pop up course and who you compete against. Got about two minutes left. Awesome job, guys. Keep up the good work. At a minute 45. See if you can get a speed run through your course. Still following the cues in form, but just try to get one more round through. If you got a hole in one, let us know at the end of class. about a minute left. About one more minute, guys. You guys are looking awesome. Not the most physically active skill, but still an important skill if you want to play golf later in your life or even putt putt.
guys coming out of the final 30 seconds. See if you can beat your score in our last 30 seconds. Coming down to 15 seconds. Get those last few putts in. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good job, guys. Thanks for doing this activity with me. All right, students. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Um, we want you to make a flip grid demonstrating how to putt a ball um, straight with a club. Also, uh, like Mr. Scott said, if you got a hole in one, let us know. Or uh, if you uh, got a better score than whoever you were playing against, let us know about that. And tell us your favorite part from today's lesson. All right, guys, this is our last class with you guys. Um, so there's really, this is all just on here. Um, so we really appreciate you guys you know, spend the time with us over these 10 weeks and we wish you good luck in the future with your classes and physical education. Thanks guys. Thank you students, great job. Thank you guys, awesome job. Good work guys, thank you.